Hi, I'm Darren Patterson. I'm Director of Technology at XS Inc. and you're watching XS Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about um, an Agile methodology called Scrum. Scrum is a, a way, a process um, that you implement in your software development life cycle. Um, Scrum has a, a, a few things that are time boxed and a few things that are um, lets the team kind of decide what route they're going to go. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the benefits, uh, how XS has implemented Scrum and how that's changed our software development life cycle and, and really turned us into a 100% agile shop. Some of the benefits of the Scrum methodology and this process that we've implemented for our software development life cycle is we now have small focused teams that focus on the, the client's product um, instead of across uh, different clients or many tasks. So the team takes on what we call um, user stories every month. They're basically user requirements for new software development and the team takes on just what uh, they can work on which is uh, measured through something we call capacity so if we have three developers on a team you you times that by a certain uh, number that we figured out um, uh, from earlier scrum so we call that velocity and so we look at that and, and we say okay let's say a, a team of three can do 45 days of development we're not going to pull off more than 45 days worth of work so the team has a, a really good chance of getting done on time and, and delivering what they said they were going to deliver so it sets expectations very clearly to the client um, each team also now at XS has uh, all the different roles it takes to really complete the, uh, the sprint each month so we have developers, scrum master, product owner um, and let me go a little bit into the Scrum Master is someone who keeps the team on track and, and removes any roadblocks for the team when they're developing the product. Um, the product owner is more of a client advocate. They work with the client to prioritize the backlog of new functionality that needs to be developed. And then they also, um, as we get the product developed, they look at it and, and um, work on the approval process as well. And we have developers, obviously, that are writing code and developing um, all the new functionality and we also have quality assurance analysts that are um, there every step of the way so in the beginning they're writing up test plans and then they're executing them off each um, functional piece that's developed during the sprint um, so really quality is, is a uh, baked into the process all the way through so we have um, quality starting right off at the beginning and going all the way through the end and that leads to a much better product um, and a much better experience for our clients um, another benefit of Scrum is we deliver incremental um, functionality that's released every four weeks. So as opposed to Waterfall, where it may take six months to deliver the whole package, we're delivering it in every four week uh, chunks. That uh, allows the client to see the product as it's being developed and if there's anything that was missed or we want to change course, we can do that early instead of waiting all the way to the end after everything's been developed. So there's a lot of benefits there as well. The whole process is, is very transparent um, and it's very measurable. So each month um, we can look at what we, what we did really well or where we need to improve. And when the, the whole process, you can continually to improve it each month until you really hit your stride. Um, our, our adoption of the Scrum methodology really adheres to the Scrum Alliance uh, best practices. Uh, the Scrum Alliance is, is a, a, an organization that promotes Scrum and promotes best practices. In excess, um, we have uh, a few certified Scrum, ma Scrum Masters um, and we really try to implement all the best practices. So we don't try to uh, uh, do Scrum a fall or partial Scrum or our own, own um, uh, version of it. So it works out really well following the best practices and we found the most benefits uh, keeping to those. Um, and then another thing, our process uh, incorporates um, Team Foundation Server, which is a Microsoft product that is integrated into all of our developers' um, IDE or Visual Studio, uh, where they write code. So we can write the user stories in there, uh, prioritize them in a backlog, um, assign them to users or to, de to developers. Developers can then um, put their estimated time against them, which we call a grooming session and then they can burn down their time uh, each day when they're finished uh, with their task. 
that allows the whole uh, process to, to really have a, a sort of automation feel to it. So uh, in Scrum, you have artifacts. Artifacts are burn down charts which show you how much work you've done to date and how much work you still have left and are you on target or not. All that's automated through uh, Team Foundation Server. And also our capacity and our planning for uh, developers. We can see if people are over capacity or under and, and level that as well. So there's a lot of automation uh, uh, and benefits using Team Foundation Server along with the Scrum methodology. To dive in a little bit more, we're going to bring in Beth Mullenberg. She's a certified Scrum Master here at Access and she's going to tell you a little bit more about the details of our Scrum process. I'm Beth Mullenberg. I am uh, a Scrum Master for three teams here at Access that are all interconnected. Um, on the Scrum methodology, there are three roles on the team. There's a product owner who structures the backlog, says what we're going to work on. There's the Scrum Master who removes roadblocks, keeps the team focused and moving forward. And then there's the team, which is everybody else. Um, Part of what we really enjoy about Scrum at Excess is the transparency. So once the product owner has everything set in the backlog for what we are going to work on, um, the team comes together and says, here's what we can work on. We base that off of data from previous sprints, but also data about what's happening this sprint. If people are going on vacation or their client meetings or the work is very hard, we, we really get down into the detail of how much time is this going to take, how much time do we have. And we do that on sprint planning, which is the first day of a sprint. At the end of sprint planning, the team commits to the work. And what that commitment means is they will do the work. If it is within their control, as long as requirements don't change mid-sprint, as long as uh, everybody is here, we will finish. And that has been really helpful to us. It creates an environment where everyone's on the team. So at the end of week one, we have a four-week sprint, at the end of week one, if someone's falling behind, the team will pick up the pace. They will jump in and help them out. They might pick up another bit of work that someone else was going to do. Now they'll do it. If someone gets ahead, that's great. When they finish, they help other people. They also perform other roles. Um, so quality is very important to us. We have a QA team in-house, they write test cases, they run regression tests, they, they work on stories. Occasionally, just because of timing, things get to the end and QA has more on their plate than they can do and the development team is done. So since QA has already written the test cases, the devs can jump in and help them out. It really helps for um, an awesome team feeling because nobody's stranded on an island with all this work to do. Um, the work is m more evenly distributed and we know what we're doing. It's very transparent. What needs to happen, what doesn't happen. Um, Darren talked about TFS or Team Foundation Server. All team members have access to that. We live in it. We uh, use lots of the standard reports. We also use some custom things that we've done to give us more visibility into what's lagging, what's ahead. Who needs help? Who's over capacity? Who's under capacity? Um, and uh, really try and stay data driven, focused on getting it done. Uh, an Im important part of uh, at least Scrum at Excess is client interaction. And so we have um, bits of work that get done all through the sprint. So, end of week one, we might have a, a user story, is what we call a bit of work. We might have a user story that's done. We have the product owner look at it and agree with it, but a client can also come in and see it as soon as it's done. They don't have to wait four weeks for it to go into production. They can look in our beta site, see what's there, understand that it's still in testing or that there are some other things that are in flux, but they can really see immediately uh, what we did for them and know how it's going to integrate in production. And, and we encourage them to come as often as they can throughout the sprint. And that really helps because a lot of times when you're writing a spec document, uh, you're visualizing something, but until you actually see it, you don't understand the impact of it. And so that's been very helpful. They have time to give us some feedback about things, maybe adjust. Um, it doesn't always happen within the same sprint that the adjustment occurs, but they give us the feedback. It's very real time and um, we, we enjoy that feedback that we get from clients. Um, so we're uh, 
constantly working with clients. Um, I think the uh, life cycle shows that um, there's some churn of fix and build and fix and evaluate, build and fix and evaluate, and clients are a huge part of that uh, conversation that we have uh, moving forward, and we, we really enjoy the real-time feedback. And a, a lot of the feedback we've given, gotten from our clients is, wow, you really want me engaged. You really want me to tell you if I like it or I don't like it. <laughs> and um, uh, Yes, we do. We, we enjoy that kind of connection very much. So, I'm a Scrum Master at Excess. There are lots of other Scrum Masters here. We're all a small piece of a larger team, and that's how Scrum works at Excess. So if you have any other questions about XS's implementation of Scrum or our software development lifecycle, you can email us at xstechtalk at xsinc.com. Put Scrum methodology in the subject line and we'll get back to you. I also encourage you to view other videos about XS Inc. Um, at our XS YouTube channel. Thanks.